his real name for the record. You can identify me as Eugene Dennis. I have paid taxes under that name. I am known under that name. And I repeat, whatever name I am known <coughs> by, I have never sullied the honor of the American people. Mr. Chairman, it's necessary that the witness state his real name. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the underling of this secretary does not dictate what I say or don't say. I am under oath and I am going to give the truth, the truthful answers to all questions. Well, I, I contend, Mr. Chairman, that the committee cannot proceed. Mr. Chairman, I object to this is irrelevant. Mr. Dennis, you have to be invited and you have That's to That's right. Now, we're going to give you two hours. Thank you. But first, we would like to identify you yes. the same as we've identified the other witnesses. I may be identified as Eugene Dennis. Well, first, Mr. Chairman, he must state his name before we can proceed. I am Eugene Dennis. I am known as Eugene Dennis. I pay taxes under the name of Eugene Dennis. Mr. You Chairman. Passport the name of Eugene Dennis? That, chair, that question, uh, Mr. Thomas, is quite beside the point. Quite beside the point. I came here to present testimony. May I be privileged to present my testimony? Yes. Okay. I don't think the witness's testimony should be predicated upon whether he answers that question. He must first identify himself. Uh, who are you, please? I am the chief investigator of the committee, Robert uh, E. Stripling. Oh, I see. You're a member of the old Dice Committee. That's right. What is your name, Mr. Dennis? I am Eugene Dennis. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the committee has considerable testimony before it concerning the name under which Mr. Dennis was born, and uh, we would therefore request that he give his right name. All right, Mr. Chairman, let me answer. The color of my hair is gray, the color of my eyes are blue. I, I'm in my early 40s, and, and, and the color of my hair and my eyes I insist on submitting this into the record. Of you accept this as testimony before the committee? Mr. Thomas, on behalf, behalf of the American people, I hold this committee in contempt and of support of the American people. Before the committee comes J. Edgar Hoover, director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. He testifies as to the identity and previous record of Dennis. He was he was born uh, he was born in Seattle on August 10, 1905. Born in this country. He is known as Francis Eugene Waldron, alias Francis Xavier Waldron, Jr., alias Frank Waldron, alias Eugene Dennis, alias S.E.W. Dennis, alias Gene Dennis, alias Paul Eugene Waltz, and alias Milton. There are the names we have discovered up to date about that day. A very complete record, both criminal as well as, as subversive. Mr. Hoover then presents a prepared statement on communism in the United States. Communists have been, still are, and always will be a menace to freedom, to democratic ideals, to the worship of God, and to America's way of life. I feel that once public opinion, thoroughly aroused as it is today, the fight against communism is well on its way. The Communist Party of the United States is a fifth column if there ever was one. It is far better organized than were the Nazis in occupied countries prior to their capitulation. They are seeking to weaken America, just as they did in their era of, of obstruction when they were aligned with the Nazis. Their goal is the overthrow of our government. There is no doubt as to where a real communist loyalty rests. Their allegiance is to Russia, not the United States. <laughs>